Welcome to Anime Out of Context, a comedy review show hosted by a basement dweller who grew up scrounging terrible fan subs on sketchy websites prior to the convenience of modern streaming, alongside a willfully ignorant soul whose only knowledge of anime comes from the shows forced upon him here. This show will contain spoilers, incorrect information, and copious amounts of adult language. Our hosts are not experts on any topic, and everything they say should be taken with a grain of salt. Thank you for listening, and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Anime Out of Context, the show where I attempt to explain the sometimes weird, sometimes wonderful, but always hilarious world of anime. And I'm loud, proud, and well endowed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sean Rollins. <laughs> I'm having good chase. Well, that's got to be on the internet forever. <laughs> Dylan, Dylan didn't even need to, like, make a corruption of that. Like, like that's just, that's raw audio right there. Oh, man. I mean... Both of our digital footprints are horribly fucked, Rem. Uh, but that's a statement that's going to carry itself for a while. And remember, everyone, don't let... <laughs> no. <laughs> Keep no? going. Keep going? Uh, all right, all right. It was friends... I'm, I'm loud, proud, well-endowed, and friends don't let friends go unplowed. <laughs> oh, shit, Rem. Oh, fuck. Well, if we keep that in, that's going to be... Man, holy shit. I need a drink. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rem, we're here to talk about anime. Uh, which it, it's it's been a hell of a two, uh, uh, like past two, three, something like that weeks. We we've done we've done some heavy hitters. Yeah, we've done some highly requested, highly popular, and incredibly deep dives. Uh, I don't know about you, Rem, but I'm fucking exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, just like on on an existential level, yeah. Yeah, no, like there's, we are emotionally and spiritually drained right now. Uh, so, Rem, I'm gonna keep it simple this week. I'm gonna keep it straightforward. Uh, I figured, Rem, it's been over five years. Uh, we gotta return to our roots, right? I, I don't, I don't like our roots. What's wrong with our roots, Rem? Lots, lots of dark shit in our roots. <laughs> Care to elaborate? What, what specifically is causing you concern with our roots? Because I I'd think we've got not. some pretty decent, uh, strong roots, you know? I think that at least at least when it comes to the podcast, our roots are um horny <laughs> we got and some... poorly written. <laughs> the podcast or the anime we cover. <laughs> well, you know. I mean, to be fair, podcast isn't written, so it can't get much more poorly written than that, I guess. <laughs> Nothing more poorly written than some improv. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh not the best, but, uh, you know, Rem, just because something is horny and poorly written doesn't mean that it's necessarily bad. Maybe. I mean, uh, think of it this way, Rem. Uh, I stumbled across an anime today, uh, well, I say today, recently, uh, otherwise, you know, I had to, I had to watch the whole damn thing, obviously, uh, to get a perspective, but that's besides the point. Uh, I stumbled across an anime that just brought me straight back to episode one. Remember episode one, Rem? I, 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 I do, Sean. Do you? What was episode one, Rem? It was Rosario Vampire. Mm, what do you remember about Rosario Vampire, Rem? All right, I remember a boy gets transferred to horny monster school. Monsters okay. want to eat him, so he has okay. to be, he has to keep it a secret. There's a fourth wall breaking bat that is like, hey, isn't this poorly written? Ha <laughs> ha. Um, as if that justifies it. Uh, yeah. Mm. Okay. So it's like uh, Iruma-kun, uh, but much, much worse. It's real bad. It's real bad. Uh, you remember Iruma-kun? That's the one where the boy uh, goes to hell and has to pretend that he's a demon because his, uh, his, his, his grandfather is essentially Satan and wanted a grandchild. Remember that one? I'll be honest, not really. Any memories I have of that are probably just merged into Rosario Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a shame because you actually came out of that one with a positive review. Shame, shame. <laughs> that's a damn shame. So you're so the the core episode of our podcast, the initial founding of our podcast, has taken an anime that you rated favorably and just sucked all that positive energy and dragged it into the depths of the negativity of our first episode. It's a pretty good metaphor for my experience of the podcast as a whole, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes back to that first episode. Well, it's Rem, just all-consuming darkness that takes everything I enjoy away. Well, Rem, I've got some great news for you. Oh, okay, yeah, I can't wait. 
Uh, we're not watching Rosario Vampire today. <laughs> All right, that gets a thumbs up. I'll sign off on that decision. Yep, no, because, I mean, we've done one revisit already. It, it'd be a bit weird to do another one. I, I, as somebody who's seen the first, like, both seasons through the, all the way, I can't imagine a very good reason of revisiting it unless, like, the heavens parted and every fan of our show is like, hey, you should go back and watch this one again because of all the weird fucked up shit that happens at the end of season one and beginning of season two. It's like, well, I mean, I guess we could, but is it really worth it? Hard to say. <laughs> uh, so we're not doing that, Rem. Okay. Uh, and I just want you, I just want to remind you throughout this whole, this whole part one, <laughs> oh, fuck. this is not Rosario Vampire. I'll be honest, Sean. Uh, the more you discuss that, it seems, I, I'm, I grow less confident about this week. Hey, Rem, I'm doing you a favor. I, I tell, don't know I'm, if you are. I'm assuading your doubts with, uh, the fact that it's not Rosario Vampire. If you put a plate in front of me and you're like, and I'm like, oh, what, what, it is on the menu tonight. Uh, what, what are we having for dinner? And you're like, not arsenic. I'm like, okay. And you're like, also not cyanide. Oh, uh, uh, okay. And you're like, it's definitely not cyanide. Okay. The fact that you're avoiding the question, however, <laughs> first of all, the more you say it's not cyanide, starting to worry it might be cyanide. Second of all, the fact that you're emphasizing that it's not cyanide, even if it isn't, it seems like you're still avoiding the question for some reason. Well, how about I just uh, get into the uh, the synopsis of this little story for you, Rem? All right, hit me, baby, one more time. Okay. Uh, so this is a story about our main character, uh, Asahi Kuromine. Uh, he is just a pretty average dude. Pretty average dude. Uh, and... Uh, he happens to have a crush on one of his classmates. Pretty standard affair. Uh, this classmate, uh, Yoko Shiragami. Uh, and one day, one day he uh, happens to stumble into his classroom after school and he sees her alone in the room and, uh-oh, she's got giant-ass bat wings. Yup. Hmm. Uh, and... Unbeknownst to him and everybody around him, turns out uh, uh, Yoko is actually a vampire. <laughs> oh my god, so original. Yeah, but hey, this time, Rem, they're not at a fancy monster school. They're at a human school, and the goal is to keep uh, her vampire secret secret from everybody else so she can continue to go to the school. And Otherwise, thus, the humans will eat her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm, tasty bat meat. All right. Sounds sounds awful. Let's let I I let's just let's get it over with, man. Well, Rem, I haven't even told you the name of the anime. Oh god. And oh, Rem, no, I'll find it. Let's see. One sec. Let's see. Bad vampire anime school. All right. Let's see. Uh, one sec, Sean. All right. I I have a list. I have a list. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna like. The title of this one is so fucking bonkers. Like, I was going to make... I, was, I had a whole bit on, like, you know, uh, you have a hard time remembering titles. This one will be super easy for you. Oh, will it? Oh, yeah. All right, hit me with it. Uh, the Japanese title is uh, uh, Jitsu wa Watashi wa. Uh, Not a great start. Nope, nope. Uh, but the English title is Actually, I Am. I think this is going to be a bad show, and I'm not looking <laughs> forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> but Rem, it's not Rosario Vampire. Cool. And it doesn't have the etchy tag. I doubt. It, no, it doesn't. It genuinely doesn't. No, but it doesn't matter if it has it or not. They're, I don't trust them. You don't trust them? They're like, mm, this is horny, but not horny enough for this tag. Yeah. Is that what you're assuming? Okay. All right. Well, Rem, I suppose that's all we need to discuss then. So let's go uh, straight into this. This is going to be terrible. This fantasy rom com as a bit of a break from all the deep interest. A break stuff. for you? Fuck you! <laughs> hey, Rem, I watched the whole first season. I. Yeah, but you're a weeb. That's you're not... a weeb. Yeah, but I'm a weeb with high standards. Thank okay. you very much. All right. All right. <laughs> Rem, I get just as much flack as you do in this podcast. Just, you know, uh, 
Yeah, Most but the of difference it, is it, you deserve it sometimes. Do I? <laughs> Ah, all right, let's go watch. If I share anime. your opinion, I deserve the flack and you let's, don't. Let's go watch the anime. Oh, you, ooh, I could have been me, so much meaner to you. All right, without further ado, let's go watch some Jitsu wa Matashi wa. If you want to see our secret second podcast, uh, Moist Boys Out of Clothing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that can't be the name. And we are back after watching four whole episodes of 2015's Jitsuwa Watashiwa, or Actually I Am. Uh, still pretty dog shit title. Uh, but Rem, I was honest with you. It wasn't Rosario Vampire, right? Hey, Sean. Yeah, what's up, bud? <laughs> what's up? How, how familiar, broadly speaking, are you with, with uh, big concepts of philosophy? I mean, I've been friends with you for over a decade, so I'd say more than the average person. Dope, dope, dope. Uh, are you familiar with uh with my boy Nietzsche? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Frederick. Yeah, good, good old Freddy. Freddy. Good old, good old, good old Freddy. Freddy Nietzsche. So, so Frederick Nietzsche, he he created uh the, this concept. Uh, he has he has this like very famous quote: "Time is a flat circle," right, referring to his concept on uh eternal recurrence uh living life as if you were to repeat the same life over again trying to live the best life uh with that in mind it's unclear uh it, it seems like it was mostly thought experiment but at the same time it was also a uh, uh, leading belief for him uh mm. just th that that concept you know that you would always be uh be be returning to the same spot uh once death has come and truly on this podcast i feel like i've died many times and perhaps that <laughs> perhaps that is why we keep ending up at the exact same place uh unfortunately whereas as nietzsche viewed it as inspiration here's how to uh live live a greater life with this principle in mind is this something you would want to relive oh dear god no i do not uh and yet it just keeps coming again and again and again uh so i i keep wandering upon this flat circle uh, endlessly recurring and repeating and never being able to truly escape the, the, the weeby Groundhog's Day, which I find <laughs> myself apart. Wow, Rem. I've never heard you compare yourself to Bill Murray before. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> uh, Bill Murray, hey, if you're, uh, listening, then, uh, oh. uh take, take my job. T just take it. We'll do a little switcheroo. <laughs> uh, you know, we'll, we'll trade places for a day. Get It'll be Bill great. Murray on the podcast. It it will be fun. He hey, I do think if you want someone who's confused and frustrated about anime, I think Bill Murray would be. I, I <laughs> <laughs> but here's the problem, Rem. If we got Bill Murray on the podcast, the second we went out and told people, "Hey, we got Bill Murray on the podcast," people will immediately be like, ah, "I don't believe you." Because <laughs> like Bill Murray is that kind of celebrity, right? He's the kind of celebrity who just fucks with people and like goes about his daily life. He's that kind of weird celebrity. So, like, I could totally imagine him, like, jumping on a random anime podcast and then never talking about it again. And if people ask him about it, he's like, hmm, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Just to gaslight the world into what he has and hasn't done. It'd be pretty good. Be pretty good. Uh, so, at any rate, Rem, uh, something tells me uh, you're not a big fan of the show we watched. <laughs> Here's the thing, Sean. Yeah? I've lost all ability to analyze shows like these critically or in an unbiased way <laughs> but because it's the same old shit but Ren, it's just the same old shit Ren, there's so much more that's different to this one like if you just compare it to rosaria vampire i mean they're in a human school this time right and the the premise is you got to keep the fact that there's a, they're a vampire a secret Ooh, hush 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 Ooh, but then as it turns out it's not a human school at all. It's oh. there's only one human and it's the fucking protagonist again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a goddamn protagonist. It's the same. <laughs> it's the same. It's just pretending it's not. Everybody <laughs> is still a monster or an alien or some other bullshit. Well, not everyone, Rem. Just the characters we see. You, you, and the you one. Don't, <laughs> maybe the other characters who, who we don't see much of, maybe they all also have their own shit. And, there, hey, there are two human characters that are frequent in this. You got also got a main character's childhood friend. She's a human. 
but she has been blessed or cursed by the goddess of fortune or something in her glasses, which guarantee that she will always be able to be childhood friends with bland bitch protagonist. However, only if she has a fundamentally antagonistic relationship with him, I suppose, or some <laughs> shit like that. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. <laughs> So what you're saying is, Rem, this show... Let's take, let, 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 me, let me see what we're missing, all right? Let me see what okay. we're missing. What are we here. missing, Rem? What, what... So we got a vampire. We have an alien. We have someone blessed by the gods. Um, the, uh, There's one, like, obvious missing spot that would be, like, a werewolf. I could also see, like, a demon showing up. Um, I don't, I don't know if they could... I don't know if they could make slime m make any sense, but if they can think of a way for slime to look human, then they'll, they'll throw that in, because why the fuck not? Uh, but that, that one I'm the least sure of. It's, it's just the same. I'm just waiting. It, uh, I hate it. I hate everything. Hey, I'm Rem. losing my hey, shit. Rem. Uh, I was tempted to show you five episodes because that's when, uh, two additional characters show up. Uh, <laughs> they, they may or may not, they, hey, 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 they may or may not, Rem, happen to be a werewolf and demon respectively. You know, like, <laughs> there's just a possibility. I hate this. I but hate hey, this so hey, much. hey, the werewolf is a interesting uh, twist, Ram, because, because uh, she is a wolf man, and when she looks at any semblance of a full moon, whether it's a picture or like even like metaphorically a full moon, uh, that's when she transforms into her wo wolf man form, which is literally a man with some wolfish features. Uh, that's, that's the joke. <laughs> I... So I saved you from that. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, excuse me, that was episode six. Episode five is where they go on a date and they talk about uh, vampires in sunlight and how they tan easily. Oh, yeah, because here, here's the thing, here's the thing. All right, so it's, yep. it, the we have Bland Witch protagonist, all right, and then we have uh, kind of the main girl who she, oh, dude, what crazy, she's a vampire. Uh, except what, what does vampire mean? It means you have wings and tan. That's it. <laughs> oh, you also have, you have slightly pointy teeth. That's it. That's. So why 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 are they hiding? Why aren't they just like, yo, it's pretty dope. I have these dope ass wings, and look, I can get tan real easily. Wh why? Because fuck you. I I don't understand. I don't get it. I wait. Okay, so let let's talk about this show. All right. So oh, I I'm sure I'm sure you have loads of deep insights into this show, and it's definitely not a show I plucked from the ether to get ourselves a bit of a break from two weeks of madness. <laughs> So we, we have our protagonist, he's friends with a, a bunch of dudes, just guys being guys, one who's a full-grown adult man, uh, just 100%, there's just one of them, he's just a goddamn adult man. Yeah. Uh, you cannot convince me otherwise. I mean, uh, then we have the pervert and the, I don't know, the smart one. You can tell he has glasses. <laughs> uh, that sums it up. Um, then you have- uh, And they're very important, right, Rem? Oh, oh yeah, for example. The pervy one gets pervy sometimes. Mm. You need that. That's mm -hmm. essential in in harem anime. So uh, you you have vampire girl who's like, oh, she's uh she doesn't interact with anybody. She's super shy, right? Uh, recluse. Um, but that's only for the first episode. Turns out she was only doing that because she didn't want to be found out, and she still doesn't want to be found out. But now she has a friend, so she's going to be extremely bubbly to everybody now. Um, for reasons. I don't get it. Uh, eventually, they're found out by the, like, class representative, who is a s small alien inside a robot exoskeleton of themselves. Uh, and then they're all be being found out by the rude, evil newspaper, uh, class, uh, girl who is a blessing from the god of fortune in some nebulous fucking way. Uh, and then I, I already know about the, the, the werewolf girl. Her thing is that she's horny as hell. She's horny as hell. What? How, can, how could you know that? Because it slaps you in the face every time the fucking intro goes on. She's <laughs> horny as hell. That's her thing. She's just real horny. So all of them... Are all of them are ridiculously horny for bland bitch protagonist. 
You know how this goes. This this is not going to be the first episode of Anime Out of Context that you've listened to. You know how this goes. Oh it's God, could you imagine if, if it was? Like, if all, of, all the episodes Why? we've done, we've done over 200 of the fuckers, and they were like, you know what we need? This is... This is the kind of insight we need to figure out just exactly what kind of people uh, are making this show. This is the show that'll really break down who they are as reviewers and content creators. You know, the show does uh, one thing differently, and that it w- it will awkwardly sexualize a couple of the guys too, um, including in one very uncomfortable after credits scene. These are literal children. I will remind you, and they choose the most youthful one to to do this too. Um, there's also some weird bondage, torture, pissing, embarrassment thing. I ain't even going to elaborate on that. <laughs> the weird pissing bondage Im- humiliation. I'm just, I'm just going to let that, let that be. I'm just going to let, let I'm that put lie that, where it is. Yeah. I'm, yeah, gonna... I'm going to put that to the side, let it fester and never look at it again. Hopefully never think about it again. Mm. Understandable. Uh, so obviously the show is extremely horny, but, it's also just like wildly immature and your basic bitch everything and it's like oh wow colorful everything it's look hey do you have a sexually frustrated 10 year old in your life this show will be perfect for them but also jesus christ what the fuck what what that what uh this is a bad show this is a bad <laughs> show oh rem rem i i'm sorry i th- i just thought i you know Bring us back to where it all started. Give us a chance to really reevaluate how far we've come as a pair. And just, you know, give us a nice little break. Something easy for you to dissect. And uh, it sounds like this might have been too easy for you to dissect. Because I've dissected this exact formula a million times. All right, you got a bland bitch protagonist, all right? What's their deal? Who gives a shit? Fuck them. Uh, this one, oh, he can't keep a secret. Is that a character trait? Well, that's his only one, so it better be. Uh, then you have a bunch of other girls, all right? Uh, you, you, you have, uh, let's, let's have a, a dumb one. And let's have, uh, Sundare. And then let's have an evil but not evil one. And let's have a horny one. Uh... All right, and then the the guy, he has friends, all right? All right, what's their deal? Don't worry about it. (laughs) They're not relevant. (laughs) If anything, we could just have them not exist, and other shows have done that. I really want to emphasize they are just warm bodies to (laughs) to be around for some reason Uh, so we can pretend there's more of a point. I don't know why we would even try to do that. Uh... I feel I feel like Sean. Uh, I have an infinite money glitch to propose to you. Oh, first one of these we've had on the show. I can't wait. What's up? We're uh, a way for us to get rich. Okay, let's do it. So uh, already sold. <laughs> uh, all we need to do is get uh, AI to write uh, some we basic bitch isekai romance harem nonsense, right? Okay. Um, literally. Maybe maybe five minutes of revision once it's finished. And I mean five minutes revision for, like, after it shits out an entire series worth. Oh, okay, uh, I see. So like just, a, like, a really quick glance. <laughs> <laughs> like a tight 13 episodes, you think? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, especially because we're, we're going to be repeating this process. Oh, I see. We're going to be repeating this process. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're just going to keep doing that. Okay. And here's the thing, Sean. What's that, Rem? The weebs will fucking love it. <laughs> they'll, they'll eat it up we might think doesn't even make sense like well here's the thing the reason why we only have five minutes is because we if we had more to revise right we would look at it and we'd be like there's egregious plot holes there's no characterization this person shows up out of fucking nowhere and is all of a sudden the most important character uh and see we we, we would point those things out and then we would want to spend time fixing those shots mm, that don't. is true don't <laughs> oh, okay the weebs don't give a shit not worth the time. <laughs> and so we, we, we just do that. We, we sell the script or perhaps, perhaps we write it as a light novel, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that or, way we can such. AI generate the title too, and that'll make perfect sense. Exactly. <laughs> and, uh, and, and we will just, we'll, we'll make millions. We'll finally have money uh, in this world. It's, you know, it's a dog eat dog world uh, with, with you by my side, Sean, it'll be a weeb eat weeb world. 
I don't... <laughs> Enough of that happens at conventions, Rem. Trust me, I've been to a few. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> and the only flaw to this plan, Rem, is we would have to go to Japan. Like, because that's, like, where uh, a lot of these uh, bad things get greenlit, apparently. Uh, but... <laughs> well, we, we just need a contact in Japan. <laughs> just something that we can just slide the scripts to and they can do all the legwork and we just get a cut. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did tell you that this one was from uh, 2015, right? It, it checks out. Yeah. Uh, so it's been a while. There's been a lot of improvements in uh, in uh, stories of this format uh, since then. We've covered a few better ones. Uh, but this one, uh, you're, you're telling me that it doesn't really do anything super unique. It doesn't really do anything super niche that will uh, draw people to it. This is uh, uh, your infinite money glitch AI fe feeling story. Is that right? Like, I guess you could be like, it's mildly unique that they have some other things like an alien i suppose i don't often see an alien yeah and it's an alien that's tiny um definitely not weird art of that <laughs> yeah definitely not just used and already seen in the show as an opportunity to perv over um i don't understand what the newspaper girl's shtick is uh, she has talking glasses from the goddess of fortune what the fuck does any of that mean what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about all the others it's like vampire check demon check werewolf check alien Ooh, a little bit adventurous check talking glasses from the goddess of fortune to make sure your childhood friend remains your childhood friend but only if you keep antagonizing them check what that's not <laughs> they've broken the mold in a way that i just don't understand uh it's probably uh shoot there's a there's a there's a japanese yokai uh mythological creature the ghost thing that the basic premise of it is essentially uh beloved objects uh if they're beloved in a, a lot to a certain point will eventually house a spirit to them so it's probably like a spin off of that concept, if I had to guess. But you're you're a little kind of right when it's like, oh, we've got these classic, uh, like uh, Universal Hollywood style monsters, uh, and then a traditional Japanese yokai in the mix. Like it does seem a bit, and not even like the full like yokai. It's just like it's more like an enchanted item more than anything. <sighs> Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. I no, you fucking aren't. You know this is gonna happen. You can't <laughs> pretend. You can't be like, oh, I'm sorry. The the uh, mean mean anime hurt you, but I'm here to no fuck you. You did this. It's like you you you, you stabbed me, right? You, and you're like, oh, I'm sorry. The knife hurt you, but I'm here for you, bud. You were holding the knife. <laughs> you are complicit. <laughs> Can we, can we go up on the flat circle? No true escape. Well, hey, I shall Rem. continue my wandering. I shall die yet again, again, and again, and again. Never never to be redeemed. Only only to experience goddamn more bullshit anime. I suppose this is... I'm probably the wrong person to ask this, but how does the cycle of abuse go again, Rem? <laughs> uh, you know, generally, generally it's a combination of uh, love bombing, oh, it's, uh, appreciation, support, relief, uh, then just combined with uh, antagonism, hostility, dread, suffering. No, oh, it's okay then, Rem. I'm not openly hostile towards you normally. <laughs> You're being very quiet, Rem. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead on the inside, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing left. Uh, well, Rem, if you had to hazard a guess then, uh, what do you think the mouse score is for uh, uh, Actually I Am? God, I hate the title so much. Like, it real, Like, uh, can you imagine, like, when the show came out trying to just talk about seasonals to people? It's like, oh, yeah, so I watched uh, this and this and this. And then I also watched Actually I Am. And it's like, oh, actually, you are what? It's like, I did, well, no, that's the name of the show. It's like, well, is there something after the I Am? It's like, no. Like, well, are they, what's it about? Oh, it's a person pretending to be a vampire. So why didn't they just call it Actually I Am a Vampire? It's not much, much better, but it, it's at least it's not a dead air hanging sentence. I'm thinking about it. All right, so it's it's extremely derivative, exactly what you'd expect, right? Right. Um, but then I think as I I think at, at least the two main waifus, I think the weebs are gonna really like them. Mm -hmm. Alien um, and I, vampire. Yeah, I don't hmm. 
know if they'll care for the others. Uh, it's just less interesting after that. Uh, and already, not a great start. So, it has all all the ingredients, but I, I feel like this is going to rank rather low, especially because even, even like in animation, there was some like weirdness there. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it feels amateurly done in all of the details. It doesn't seem like a lot of polish was handled into this show. And so I think I'm going to say, like, seven flat. We'll just... We'll <laughs> flat Don't even seven. think about it. I, I think people generally are not super hyped about it because they can get their isekai fix elsewhere. Well, it's not an isekai, Rem. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. By definition, it's not an isekai. Yeah, but it kind of is, though. It's not, Rem. Hate to break it to you. It theoretically takes place in the same world as ours. Have it, have one scene where any character wakes up and asks, where am I, at the beginning. Never address it ever again. Bada bing, bada boom, isekai. <laughs> I don't even care which character. It could be any one of them. Any one of them. <laughs> it I mean, doesn't I, matter. It might, te- like, if, if the central focus was on uh, Nagisa, the uh, alien, then maybe it could be considered an isekai, but no, the central focus is unfortunately on uh, Asahi, and it's his world that, yeah, he's the focal point. That's a, ba- that's a bummer, isn't it? That's a bummer when he, that kind of guy's your focal point. Uh, that was the main character's name, by the way. I, I'm sure it just went in one ear and straight out the other for you. I hate all of it. Yeah, and as for the animation aspect, uh, you're definitely onto something there. Uh, because uh, the studio that did this one was uh, TMS Entertainment, and they have a varied mix of shows. We've covered a couple of them. Some of them are quite lovely and nice and gorgeous. Others of them look uh, hideous. Uh, <laughs> and this anime was produced by, like, seven different groups. So oh, Holy shit. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know mess. how the production breakdown went uh, completely there, but looking at the mal page, there is, like, Everything from TV Tokyo to, like, a bunch of other random things I've never heard of. So it's like, ah, well, yeah, I can see why the production value on this didn't exactly uh, go super high. But to answer your question, Ren, a flat seven, uh, a shocking 122,000 people have uh, rated what the this fuck? anime. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's, I don't know. I don't feel great about my rating now. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, the consensus for that one is uh, uh, Jitsuwa Watashiwa is sitting uh, nice and pretty at a 6.85. This is one of those where I'm like, yeah, but why? Why is this so... <laughs> I, I say this every time. Yeah, every time. I know, <laughs> every time it I, drops. I know why I hate it. Mm-hmm. I don't know why the weebs hate it. And I, well, like, I know the reason why the weebs hate it, but I'm like, what about all the other? Uh, but hey, the, you know, time's a flat circle. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll be back here again. I'll make the exact same fucking points. It'll be great. It'll be delightful. Ah, uh, but hey, next time, Rem, it won't be a vampire. It'll be about a swamp thing. Won't that uh, be different? You know, I would take a swamp thing. We have, I, I'll, I'll take a swamp thing. Uh, that's, give me at least different creatures. All right. Uh, no, no more demons. <laughs> no more vampires. No more werewolves. Uh, those aren't allowed. Uh, aliens still allowed. Yeah, we can still have some aliens. Yeah, we, we're. Uh, I can aliens, hold you to that. <laughs> yeah, they're still allowed for now. Uh, they, uh, uh, certainly no succubi or incubi, unless they're of an adult age, perhaps. Uh, well, if if they show up, they better be an adult. But also, just don't show up. <laughs> uh, yeah. So th- th- those are on the th- those those monsters are no longer allowed. <laughs> nor, nor slime girls. Slime girls also not allowed. You've only seen one of those, Rem. <laughs> they exist exclusively for fetish reasons, and that's it. I so mean, they're not allowed. You did only see it in Monster Musume, so. <laughs> all, all right, Sean. I want you right now, right okay. this fucking moment. Okay. Name me uh, a, a slime girl that is not extremely horny. Uh, any plasmid from the uh, let's see. Oh crap! What's it called? Not Starbound. Uh, crap! I forgot the name of it. Uh, the D and D weird space setting. There's a bunch of slime people in that, and they are very not <laughs> sexy on purpose. I think. Uh, uh, all right, anime. Okay, specifically an anime. Yeah. Um, Rima Riffs from uh, Slime Reincarnate. 
Because <laughs> they're kind of... Yeah, I, I mean, don't, they, have, I don't... they have a super male form, they have a super female form, and they also kind of have a uh, in-between form that they usually go for. And then, of course, there's slime form. I turn. suppose I will kind of give you that-ish. Mm-hmm. Do you have a second example? <laughs> hmm. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Barrel's looking a little, looking a little, looking a little sticky there, Ram. Hold on. <laughs> so it's like, pulled out one and already at the bottom. Wild. <laughs> uh, oh, no, that one was from Interspecies Reviewers. Uh, hmm. Uh, that's over. Yeah, so no slime girls. They're also just not allowed. Uh, if uh, you have a monster show, uh, you need to figure out different monsters. <laughs> Man. Which, like... Dracula I United like... has fallen into harder times, it seems. Yeah, Dracula, like, with Dracula United, uh, we just want the the broad variety of possible monsters to be shown. And, I mean, with all due respect, come on! There's plenty of, like, Japanese yokai who can be shown off some more. Have, right. have some more... So a, li- a little bit more pride in your monsters. Don't I mean, steal the were... basic bitch ones everybody has. There were steal loads the in Rosario Vampire, man. <laughs> oh, God. They were all uh. side characters and all got, like, beaten away, but, you know. Give, I'm just saying, next time I see a sexy monster, I want it to be... Something the, different? The, the one-legged umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> you want a sexy one-legged umbrella anime character. Whatever, what, whatever that's called, I want. What are those to be the oh, next monster? Oh god, I used to know the name uh, for it. Give me one second. It is a uh, uh, Casa Obake. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, get, get, sexy umbrellas, alright? Next time I see a monster, that's what it better be. I'm gonna but, Assuming just... it, they have to make it sexy. I'm okay with spooky monsters all the time. If you have a sexy monster, get weird with it. Get original with it. Uh, well, I just go... Well, I... Once again, uh, I've made the mistake of Googling what you've asked, Ren. And oh, no. I've, got, I've got a weird... The first result is somebody is, some, is something that somebody has as a tattoo on their, on their body. Uh, and then the like, third and fourth results... Uh, well, hey, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to send it to you. Hopefully this is what you, you asked for it, Rem. Next time you saw a sexy monster, I'm giving it to you. Oh, uh, fuck. There you go, but there's, there's there are your sexy umbrellas like you've always wanted. Cowardice! You can't just say here is a scantily clad girl with an umbrella on her head. The t- the top ones are more acceptable. <laughs> yeah, like I I feel like the first one is more what we you you were asking for, whereas the second one is very much like ah they they took key features and kind of adapted them. Uh, they really went hard on the tongue in that third one, though. Like, uncomfortably so. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, Rem, I, I, we needed a break. We needed something easy. So that's just where we are. Next week, I'm sure it'll be a wildly different experience for everybody. Uh, so I suppose with that in mind, Rem, <laughs> despite time being a flat circle, uh, any chance you'd like to watch some more Jitsuwa Watashiwa? I don't want to, but I shall. Again, it may be in different names. It may have different titles. Its characters may go oh, by different sorts. It may be different monsters. Uh, but but I know. I know that I'll see it again. For the Wheel of Time has no beginnings. But this is a beginning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so with that in mind, thank you all so much for tuning in. If you enjoy Two Nerds on the Internet uh, reminiscing over uh, Friedrich Nietzsche, then please uh, head on over to wherever you get your podcast and leave us a review whether that be Apple Podcasts, Podbean, Stitcher, Spotify, or wherever. Uh, We do read every single one, and we love and appreciate you every time you leave us one. And if that is still not enough for you, you can head on over to twitch.tv slash animeoutofcontext for myself, Remington, and Dylan occasionally play video games and do other weird things uh, that are good and say-so for the Twitch channel. Uh, Don't do any lewd things on that channel. Not not lately, at least. Uh, That's the opposite of convincing people to come over, isn't it? (laughs) Yeah, it'll be... Maybe there'll be a little sexy things, just a little, as a treat, from time to time. <laughs> Mostly of Rem. But at any rate... That's what I'm here that, for. <laughs> if that is still not enough for you, you can head on over to patreon.com slash context, where you gain access to all kinds of lovely bonus material, including having the opportunity to be thanked live on the podcast. So, Rem, who are we thanking this week? As always, we'd like to send our regards to all of our bland bitch protagonists, as well as our magical girls, who I really appreciate. But moving on, we get to our yandere waifus who are doing 
who are trying to get us into some sort of bondage piss humiliation. And I... <laughs> on that list, we have Drunk Butts of for Anime Out of Context Mascot said, Miska Miska, earnestly expecting praise and a reward. Nobody, I'm skipping Patreon names until I get apology notes from all and force me to speak the unspeakable Sean. Repent, you filth. Zombie Stomp, Xanax, you might ask, what are all those floating children doing behind me? And why do they look like Ray? Simple, they're Ray Jex. Ha. Uh, <laughs> Yandere Neko, wondering who has the bigger sword, Reving Tinder Kirito. Why Sean, why Sean? Why does Haruhi get away with being a terrible person when gods get punched in the face on a daily basis, ponders Miska. Weekly haiku about Sean. This is a warning. Sean has been spotted. Protect the animals. Uh, I don't. Watch, uh. I don't know. I don't know. Watch Eva and I'll write a poem every day for a month. Walk me home gently. Totally God's angel. Titan CNH. The villain band Glasses once welcome. Uh, Cheetah say revisit. The three wise waifus visited the original bland protagonist. They gifted him no distinct personality. White knight tendencies. And who knows what the third one is. It gets cut off. Uh, the Susanator, the penis mightier than the sword, Turban, Tainted Venom, Spiceitis, So Sean, what was in the Cup of Doom that was definitely not piss, Silent Secondary, Shoujo Addict, who doesn't need help, just more manga to read and anime to watch, she wants to anime on my context until I weird, wonderful, hilarious. I, <laughs> is it, I might be losing my mind, but that kind of made sense. <laughs> Sean, now sport of Adam Sandler themed adult toys. Sean, uh, Rem, do it as loud as possible. I'm not going to do that, because although I'm not in as cramped of an apartment, uh, my, my new place is still uh, surrounded by other places. Uh, so and, I'm not and going you to... you definitely don't have any soundproofing up yet. Oh, God, no. In no form. Uh, Sean, can I pui-pui? Your mother says Miska. Sean's grandma is the OG white swordsmeister. Get well soon. Sean Collins, two ounce absinthe, one ounce lemon juice, uh, half an ounce of simple syrup topped with club soda. Sean calls me Little Daddy Rem when he enters my big hole. I'm just going to say it right now. That's just going to taste like absinthe. <laughs> like, <'Cause that's... laughs> like, and why am I associated with absinthe? Is it, is the it drink or my big hole? Uh, Seth Senju. Hmm. Sakoi Dekai, that's what she said. Scratch that idea. My 21st will be going to sushi with friends and family after exploring downtown. Cannot wait for the second. Sean, why don't you ever take me out for sushi? Uh, uh, I have. <laughs> but it's been multiple years, times so it's been so long <laughs> we had a pretzel. pandemic <laughs> Palmer, Rob -lob -dob. Randy Williams review boondocks or you're racist Rem loves the big hole Reki Kawahara Rar XD that's I love you and dinosaur Pui Pui Milf Car Pondo Other McNutt Nitsaira Nick Harvey Neon Hufo Genesis Makika Seven Hierto Link Jokerl Liam Dunn Leaf Denji and Pachita out of harm's way Sean Landon Weatherford Lance 0325, Kylo, Kara Uchiha, Keegan Talbot, Cassidy, Karma Chaos, Joshua Dinosaur, Jax, Janine, Jam Hands. I was going to swim, but is Miska the only one who thinks this water looks weird? Asks Miska with concern. I Remington will ruin Darling in the Franks for Encrypted Cryptid. I Remington Chase would like to thank you, Sean, for our wonderful years of anime reviews and friendship. I don't know what to put here. I declare this an official submission row battle. Metafighters ready row battle. Hunter Tane, Hunter Davies. Hey, don't cough in my butt. Hey, Sean and Rem, would you like any more of Daddy Dill's Eldritch Cum Jar by chance? Hey, Cursed Wallery, Ouija, please say th this. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> wah. Wah, wah, Jesus wah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Going down on Sean's grandma. Nomeo and Juliet is my favorite anime. Glenn Michael Dolan. Getting high, losing track of time, and watching hours of raccoons eating like little people. Gazunga Lungas. Farmer Weeb's Dark Fact of the Weep. Bob's Burgers was originally pitched as a family serving burgers made of human meat. Fantide, F-bomb. Dylan, please say Uwu Oni-chan with your deep voice, says Miska. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, eventually I shall take over, uh, uh, Dylan. It'll be great. Uh, Dylan Hayden, do not name your DDLC character your actual name on your first run through. I learned that the hard way. Daddy Rem, <laughs> tell me a bedtime story. Creed 13, Country Fried Goth, here to remind you that you just lost the game. Claire Tipperary Mayo... Lawis, Tyrone, Wexford, Waterford, Dublin, Meath, Cork, Belfast, Donegal, Kerry, Fermanagh, Wicklow. Uh, Cheese Monkey, Cameron Ashworth, Brockhart for G-Dudes, Ask Sean and Rem, Jesse or James from Team Rocket, Brie Loves Cheese, Brennan's Grandma Got the Shrimp, Good Good, I Love Bugs, <laughs> Pardon? Uh, Black right. Star, Big Blue Bear Boy, Awkward Lesbian Who Just Needs a Hug, Are You an Echo? No, I'm a Demon, I'm a Semen Demon. Angle, angel, mm. angle, angel. Am I alive or am I dead? But what does it mean to live and die? Are we but capybara trapped in this big hole? Elise Howard, Alpha Angel, all hail Lord Helix, AJ Tunnels, like a hamster in a microwave. I also wish I was a hot pocket. Jesus Christ. Wow. AJ. <laughs> <laughs> AJ, honey. 
Uh, a daze, Aaron Hegland. A specter is haunting Europe. A specter of communism. All the powers of old Europe have entered into a holy, uh, and dot. Uh, now we move on to the boy wizard tier, where everybody will get an AI-generated anime title. Uh, Vincent Calabrese, you get Beware the prince Princess's Mother in the Royal Palace. Uh, the fitness grand pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues students. You get a wicked tale of the sweetheart. A dungeon master next door, you are going to get the way to blackmail the indecent tyrant. Uh, the Canadian anime stoner, you get saving the F-tier wife before the tragic princess divorces. Uh, the brown mamba is back after being abducted to late in Utah for two years. Uh, you get I became the father of the cute male leader under the cover of night. Uh, Soul, you get a saintess's third attempt at unifying the nation. Stan Lee's the best FBI agent, changed my mind, episode 119, 1 through 14 to 40-ish, if you're confused. Oh, and boy, boy, oh boy, are we. Uh, you get, I woke up as the traumatized lover under the cover of night. Uh, Shmaris, you are, you get, death is the only ending for the first prince in this life? Uh, that's just short story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Roscop, you get, when the side character raises the mother. Roberto with the concerto, you get the slave I tamed became a cute villainess. I hate that one. Especially because that, that, out of all of them, that's most likely to, like, exist in some form. Mm. Uh, no comment. <laughs> Rem, watch the first 44 episodes of One Piece and call it the best anime. You get, why am I taking the throne? Because I'm totally precious. Uh, P.L. Mayor, you get the big hole. Uh, but you do not get the big hole. You get the totally perfect maid of the super gorgeous emperor and the indecent ex-lover. Oh, Sean, real quick, before I forget, we're watching Clannid next week, right? You get the big hole. Next Magic the Gathering set just dropped called March of the Machines, and it's just plain terrifying. Look, look terrifying looking. Should I be concerned? Uh, you should be concerned over the Pinkertons who will yeah, come no. and kick your ass. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> that's the biggest concern. <laughs> that's me. Even just saying that, now, now they're going to come for us. Yeah, uh, no, they... <laughs> so much for that, uh, Wizards of the Coast. Uh, sponsorship. Now we can't turn it down in its face. <laughs> you get uh, the 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 Pinkertons are my waifu. Uh, Monogatari mm. takes all boxes of what you guys say you want in anime. This week, no creepy doctors, and I appreciate that. Uh, you get this male lead I defeated is totally cunning. Uh, my God is Overlord review. You get the world of seamy dating sims is tough for priests. The, y yo, that is kind of dope though. That one. I, I I'd watch that one. That one where you just have, like, a hyper-religious individual. But I want, like, more of an emphasis, like, on their religion and their struggle than just an excuse to show the sexiness, right? Because right. this could just be horny. I don't want it to just be horny. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you say that about basically every show. <laughs> yes, here's the thing. I accept having a certain amount of horny qualities in a show. If that is one of your main features, things like character, plot, and the like are going to suffer. Uh, nonetheless, uh, who the fuck was that for? I don't... My God is Overlord review, I think? I think sure. so, yeah. Uh, Miguel Delion, you are gonna get Forget the Misunderstood Son of the Sundere Queen. I just want to master this family? I don't like that. Massimo don't like Ma that. <laughs> Massimo Martelli, uh, you are going to get The World of Romance Novels is Tough for Precious Final Bosses. We're, we're starting to get a little reapy. I might have to switch to a different generator. Latino is a boxer. One of my opponents missed and made my groin guard flat. Uh, you get... I am the not so precious, illegitimate son of the second prince in another country. That hmm, okay. That. <laughs> uh, here I'm, I'm switching. I'm switching gears. All right. Uh, L plus ratio. You get luck contamination. Kugor, you are going to get good robot army beaters. <laughs> I run to JC by vow to finish Sword Art Online. You get monster ghosts. I remember say that Sean's grandma is an angel in bed. I can't hold it back anymore. You are going to get Star Battle Admiral Blade. Uh, I, I turn 40 in May. Any chance you can review Healer Girl for my birthday? You are going to get Planetary Musketeer Squadron. I hope Aqua and Ruby get together. Hashtag sister fucking with twins. Oh, oh God. Uh, you know, I'm just throwing you in the big hole for your own sake. Yes. <laughs> Never leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I believe in Remington Supremacy. You get that time I got reincarnated as a helpful dragon. Uh, hello, Rex. So I'm an unusual brick wall. So what? <laughs> uh, head on, apply directly to forehead. You get, uh, oh God. So I'm a cute Redditor. So what? Mm, that, oh man. These, these fantasies are getting out of hand. <laughs> oh man. This is, this is rough. Uh, Go ahead, call the cops. It won't silence voices. They're getting louder. Send help, please. You get, I beat, 
my up every day and I am Navy officers. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying different ones and some are better than others. For the first hundred episodes, I thought this was Harry Potter fanfiction podcast. Do you yet society still love my personal maid, but the fact remains she is my new sibling. Uh, Drew the Almighty Monarch of the Big Hole. You get my boyfriend is secretly a dragon and now that's my fetish. Uh, Dua, you are going to get that mysterious transfer student has a penis despite that my childhood friend was not toilet trained. All right, that's the most cursed of them all. Yeah, uh, I'm... I'm... Not the weirdest thing I've heard, but, you know. Cryptid Milf, uh, you are going to get Daddy Dylan's Eldritch Jar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Crimson Reapers, just because of the scythes, you are going to get... Come on now, just give me a good generator. Uh, you're going to get Risen and Forbidden. Carver 271, you get... it. it, it it's just Painter. That's <laughs> nice and simple. Uh, Animated Z, you are going to get... Oh no, I've fallen into Daddy Sean's castle and everything's so crunchy. I don't... God, Our God father damn, grumbles you know. about the buffer and can only count to the present. 26 weeks as of the 14th of April. You get... Do I get thrown in the big hole? Oh, please, please. Uh, Adam Sandler cosplays as Judy Hopps and cuddles with the milf hunter Sean. Uh, you get actually just your name. Your name is the anime. Congratulations. Uh, I and... don't... Um... Uh, 177013, ask Sean, he should know, don't believe him if he doesn't. What? Sean? What do I know? What do I know? Wait, wait, sorry, was that a series of six numbers? Yes. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, I, you I, get, I... what are you hiding from me, Step Sean? <laughs> uh, hey, Rem, <laughs> let, me tell, let me put it this way, you don't want to know. If Probably it's the one I'm thinking of, you really don't want to know. I wish I didn't know, but people told me, and now I know. And now, I'm telling you, you don't we go know. to the inappropriate <laughs> Joey Wheeler tier, where Sean, as Joey Wheeler, will do his imitation of each of the different monsters uh, or creatures in, uh, in Actually I Am. <laughs> uh, as the so, monsters themselves or as the characters, because it'll be like the same reaction if it's just the characters. Uh, probably, probably the monsters. So it doesn't need to be this specific vampire, just a vampire. Okay. Uh, we start with Zach Page. Uh, I like to edit a podcast. <laughs> but you also need to be Joey Wheeler still. Hey, uh... <laughs> I like God. to edit a Doing podcast. A I like to edit a podcast, but, like, drop the bass a little bleh, bit. Bleh. Then it... Bleh, bleh. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Dylan. Don't, don't be mad at uh, me. <laughs> when Sean turns 30, he'll digivolve into my ginger daddy, Squee. Oh, dear. Um... <laughs> Uh, look at me. I came from space and I'm in a robot that's normal people size. Jesus Christ. There you go. <laughs> my, we, now we get Watch Saints Young Men from Rima. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. All right. Uh, man, I'm a nice pair of glasses and people, and I am sure loved and enjoyed. Uh, hopefully there's not some weird uh, personality quirks associated with me. That'd be a shame. <laughs> Next we have Hermione Pegs, Harry and Ron. Uh, yeah, I'm the principal of this school and a demon, but it's okay because I look like I'm 13. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't look like, <laughs> let me just tell you, Ram, uh, <laughs> it, showing you the full scope of the characters in this, uh, the principal is the one in the back middle, uh, and not the one holding the sword. Hate that. Uh, yeah. next we got my dear old mum. <laughs> oh, I like a moon, <laughs> or I don't. Depends on the story. Oh, uh, and finally we have Blood Cell warns Rem it's all fun and games until the Pui Pui Odd Taxi rolls up. Oh dear. Uh, shit. I'm out of the main ones. Uh, let's go with. Yeah, I genuinely can't remember if there's others. Uh, it's fine. Uh, ah, I have no defining personality traits, but for some reason, all of these women love me. The greatest monster of all. If you want to reach out, whether it's for a comic question, feedback, or a recommendation, you can tweet us at AnimeConPod on Twitter, or send an email over onto Anime out of context at gmail.com. Kindness is not a personality trait, y'all. Uh, yeah. It's just expected. Um, <laughs> so, and with that, thank you all so much for tuning in. We love and appreciate you very, very much. And as always, don't fuck your sister. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I'm loud, proud, and well-endowed. 
That's the first thing on my grinder profile. Mmm, <laughs> tasty penis meat. Uh, Sean, uh, I, I've gotten a wreck, Sean, for nice, well-endowed sumo wrestler called Joey Hitler with a bondage piss humiliation. I'm a white chocolate slut. I'm also a dark chocolate slut. Yeah. I'm also it, a little bit of a milk chocolate slut. I think you're just a chocolate slut, my guy. I'm just a slut. You creamy cocoa slut. I am a caramel slut. I am a caramel slut. You're just uh, a sweetie, sweetie little slut. I'm a, a slut for some cookies and cream. Look, Rem, is ju <laughs> this just, is is this pre or your outlet for really outing some of your fetishes? Hey, baby, I'll be sweet if you make me sticky.